Hey, how you guys doing? I'm Adam Sapraski. I'm the broker for Cardinal Realty Group. I'm also a real estate attorney licensed in Florida. I specialize in real estate law and real estate transactions. Okay, so today we are going to be going over a release and cancellation of contract form. The example that we have been using thus far in our videos is a contract between Mary and Jake Doe, a married couple, they are the buyers, and John Smith, the seller, okay? Now, I guess we've gotten to the point where we wanna cancel the contract. Um, let's just say that we are in our ninth day of the inspection period, and there was 12 days in the inspection period that we were allotted. And the inspection report came back and the property is covered in mold. And we said, you know what, seller? We are going to exercise our right to cancel this contract and take our deposit back. Okay, we, get, we had 12 days to inspect. We're only on day nine and we are currently able to take our deposit back and go our separate ways. Okay, but to do that, you're gonna wanna send in one of these release, of, release and cancellation of contract forms. Okay, so here we have our buyer and our seller, Mary and Jake Doe, a married couple, and John Smith. And they are going to be canceling the following contract. We filled out a as-is residential contract for sale and purchase. That was the contract that we initially used. Okay, sometimes you'll be using a different contract. Maybe this was a commercial contract down here and you're canceling a commercial contract. Maybe this was a contract for vacant land. Okay, either way, you wanna cancel and get your deposit back. Okay, so we filled out an as is, so we're gonna check as is. The effective date, I don't know if anyone remembers, was October 23rd. Okay, and concerning the following property, it, we have the address here, 123 Main Street, number 2105. Miami, Florida, 33162, represent. And we're gonna go down here. Okay, um, now release from liability. Buyer and seller release each other and we're gonna include the name of the brokerages. If there's any brokerages here, so, you know, there happened to be, in the example that we used, a brokerage involved and that brokerage was called Cardinal Realty Group, LLC. LLC, okay, and that was the name of the brokerage. And there was also another brokerage involved, and it was Cardinal Realty Group. Because that's what we do here at Cardinal Realty Group. We sell. Anyways, going down, we are going to buyer and seller instruct the escrow agent to disperse the deposit as follows. We put in our contract that we use, we put a $25,000 deposit. And that is going to be going back to the buyer. The buyer was, buyer's name was, I believe the buyer's name was Mary, Mary um, Doe and Jake Doe, a married couple. I believe that was the buyer's name that we used. I hope I'm not forgetting it. And I actually wrote that in the wrong line. I apologize, guys. Let me write that in the correct one. There you go. Mary Doe and Jake Doe, a married couple. We wanna make sure they get their deposit back. Then they're gonna go ahead. Each one is gonna sign. Mary's gonna sign on this top buyer line down here. Jake's gonna sign on this buyer line down here. They're gonna send it over to the seller. Seller's gonna sign down here. And guess what? We're done. Everyone can go their separate ways. The deposit is now released back to the buyers. The sellers can go put their house back on the market and everyone can go their separate ways. And that about wraps it up for our release and cancellation of contract form. I'm Adam Sapraski, once again, broker for Cardinal Realty Group. I hope you subscribe to our YouTube channel. There's a lot of useful information here. And uh, thank you for joining us.